If you have ever wondered how can astrology improve my life, this video is for you. First, you're going to pull up your chart. Now you're going to find your asteroid Chiron. Chiron in Greek mythology is the wounded healer. So take note, is it in the first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way down to the twelfth? What house is your Chiron sitting in and what sign is your Chiron sitting in? Are there aspects to other planets from your Chiron placement? Okay, now let's back up. What house is it in? Because finding your deepest emotional wounding in life so that you can heal it is going to like unblock everything so you can just live the rest of your life in peace. At least not fight yourself. If it's in the first house or Aries, it's about getting out of your own way and feeling confident in yourself. If it's in the second house, it can be lack-based things or your physical safety. If it's in Gemini or the third house, it can feel like you'll never be understood by anybody. Communicating yourself clearly. If it's in Cancer or the fourth house, it has a lot to do with emotional safety, physical safety, just safety while you're home. If it's in Leo or in the fifth house, it can feel like you're never fully appreciated or as if you'll never be seen or admired. If it is in Virgo or the sixth house, it can feel like you will never be good enough or you'll never make the difference that you want to. If your Chiron is in Libra or in the seventh house, it can feel like you'll never have your perfect match relationship. If your Chiron is in Scorpio, it may feel like you will never be in control or have personal power. If it is either in Sagittarius or the ninth house, you may be wildly skeptical and never find anything that you can fully believe in. Definitely a lot of elements of distrust. If your Chiron is in the 10th house or in Capricorn, it may feel like you will never be taken seriously. You need to establish personal authority. If your Chiron is in the 11th house or Aquarius, it will feel like you will never be accepted for just who you are. If your Chiron is in Pisces or the 12th house, it will feel like you can never let go of things or just fully trust. Okay, you're separating yourself from that oneness that is. So all of these things are inherently lies, but they're really real because we're in this third reality, right? The 3D reality. So this has a lot to do with your inner child. All of these things can be healed. And when you heal them, you'll not only improve your quality of life, your connection to yourself and others, but also you're healing your inner child. And like your whole life's just gonna light up. And if your Chiron is aspecting other houses, other planets, just take those into consideration. You know, do your research, learn about yourself because like what else, are you doing if you're not learning?